called by his name. So we shall humble ourselves, seek his face, pray, repent, and Yahweh will answer us, forgive us, and heal our land. Second Chronicles 7, 11 through 15. So be it. Really, sons and daughters, by the death, burial, and resurrection of Yeshua, Yeshua is the Messiah, the only begotten son of Yahweh. This place is built upon that rock, and therefore the gates of hell shall not prevail. Matthew 16, 13 through 18. So be it. We are the temple of Yahweh. We shall not defile this temple. 1 Corinthians 3, chapter 16 through 17. So be it. And scripture is Psalm 68 and 4. And it reads, <clears throat> Excuse me. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name Yah, and rejoice before him. Psalm 68 and 4. So be it. Oh, Amen. Come on, give your father a hand clap of praise. <laughs> uh, his presence is in this place. Glory to your name. Father, we thank you once again for being with us. You said that two or three are gathered together in your name and you're in the midst. Thank you for being in the midst, Father. We give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory, Father. In Yeshua's name, Father. And right now, right now, Father, let flesh decrease and your anointing increase in this place, Father. Help us renew our mind, Father, as we crucify this flesh, destroy this carnality, that we may walk in the spirit that you have commanded for us to walk in, that we may be that light, that we may walk in the spirit of truth, that we may be true ambassadors unto you as your sons and as your daughters, Father, showing all love toward each other as well as you, Father, because that is how you said it. That they shall know that we are the disciples of, yes, him, yes. of Yahweh, of Yeshua, going out in your name, our Father, Yahweh, giving you honor. Father, you are so worthy, and I love you with a love that I can't explain. And Father, you called me, Father, to be the pastor, to be the leader. And Father, we stand before you in one mind, one accord, and one passion. Seeking after your faith. Seeking after you. Glory to your name, Father. Giving you honor, Father, for all you are and all that you shall be. And you are worthy of all the praise, Father. As the priest of old, Father, I wave my hand. I wave the praise offerings unto you, Father, and we give you glory with this sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah to your name. Glory, my Father. You are worthy. Oh, you are worthy. We give you praise. Mine, we give you praise. We honor you. We thank you. We glorify. You are always worthy. Thank you, Father. Thank you for being there for me. Hallelujah. Thank you for being there. Nobody else knows like you know. Glory to your name. In Yeshua's name, we give you honor. We give you praise. Amen. Once again, just acknowledge your Father in this place by giving you honor.
and y'all son ever to lean over no she said put some oxygen on me you can't, you can't breathe that's the problem you ain't breathing you got these allergies going on and the and, uh, oxygen cut off and and now you in in that alternate state of reality no more bikes Yes. I'll track any yes. yes, come there, on. There is no bulls running in the middle of the road. Come on, bike. come on. <laughs> Every night this she was like, I said, wake up. I ain't sleep. I was just checking. <laughs> you and I was so grateful. I didn't feel good or none of that stuff, but I still was grateful yes. that my father would come in and just give me a little push. Yes. And I was able to love on him. Yes. This is the truth, baby. Right? Okay. And I said, well, we you know what we're going to do tonight. Because I know sometimes no matter what, I want to push their way out. And I was like, well, this is the place to be if you're hurting. Yes, sir. This is the place to be if something's wrong. Okay. I told you, I said, you know what? I stood right there at the end of service. And I told him. Y'all's people. Yes. And there was this virus going around, this sickness, and be careful. And that means fight against it. Yes. That means if something hits your body, they don't afford to be there. Y'all give you that warning. You fight against it. How I many know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. And you make the enemy mad just by doing what you know you're supposed to do. Yes. Oh, and I'm just thinking now for, for, for his mercy and his grace and how wonderful. And I use those words because I love them so much. And I know you're tired of hearing me saying that, but I, I'm telling you, I love him for real. And his authority that he's given me in my life, I feel like Jiminy Cricket sometimes saying, I'm no fool, no serene. Yeah. I'm going to live to be a hundred and three. That's the truth, isn't it? Yes. I maybe mean, want to tell the end of that sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, I mean, I'm, yeah. come on now. Yes. He came at me I don't, yesterday. I uh, prayed and everything on, on on fourth night. The father done gave some terrific words and oh, and, and brought some people up a little bit. That alone made him mad. Yeah. Then then coming on fifth night, coming around, I'm, I'm just loving on the father like I do. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, everything is hit me. Headaches, just my hair hurting so bad, boy. I started to get out my body. And just write the word bad across my face. Oh, and do that giant dance like Michael Jackson. Bad! Bad! No, that's bad. That's bad. My head is It's really, really bad. Oh, man. My head is <laughs> I said, that don't make no sense. Ooh, I looked over at Nell. Nell looked like she smelled some stink. I said, what's wrong, baby? <laughs> she said, my hair cream. I said, yours too. Ooh. And I knew something was wrong. I said, wait yes. a minute, this ain't right. Um, it's a little green goblin and he'll squeeze my oh, head or something. Yes. And so I ran down the room. Multiple people. There's a bed in there. I ran in the room. And how every man for himself. I went and got some, some, some Billy drills. I said, said honey, she's taking that fake mess. You just put that down and take some Billy drills. Okay. I'm not playing around with it. Yes. Yeah, Zertex. It's good for something, but if you get them headaches, you need to go to the, you need yes. to repent yes. from going. Yes. So I'm sorry, Mr. Benadryl, can you please take me back? Yes. I'm just trying to be fancy. Yes. Anyway, as, as the day went on, the father was so good, and I, yes. was, he just, I just kept pressing, kept going. Yes. Ain't like I had a choice. Okay, that's real. The other said, the other said uh, Pastor, are you sure you want to go with me? And I said, ain't like I got a choice. <laughs> What choice do I have? Well, I'm able. And so I went up in there and I'm sitting up there and I'm while while I'm waiting on the other thing, I'm reading this study. I'm just having a good old time. Mm -hmm. She come out there and then had no faith in me come out. How long was she sleeping? <laughs> I said, boy, I tell you. Oh, and he's somebody standing with me. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I'm, I'm telling you all this because I never, I didn't feel good ever. <laughs> it never stopped. Yeah. Head kept banging, and then I had to go get some tests done, mm -hmm. and they made me lay down and try to hurt my, my arm. 
shoulder. Yes. And I noticed something. Mm. The other plane was saying her shoulder were hurting. Yes. And then, you know, I'm trying to pray to keep the devil off of her. And then all of a sudden, a little imp gonna try to come and hurt my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Serious. Yes. I was like, I was like, you know. And then, then my wife earlier, she had a headache before me. Uh -huh. And then I'm trying to, you know, pray, you know, just trying to stand and head on the headache. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to destroy the devil, not suck a man. Yes. Let me know what I'm talking about. Yes. Let me know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. See, what, what, what's happening right now, this, this tonight is restoration. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be being restored. In order to be restored, you got to let loose some things. Yes. That means you got to tear it down and build it back up. So anything you've been dealing with on tonight, you, you can let it out when you give y'all praise. You can let it out as you, as we have this little back and forth holla, holla, holla. But if you sit there and look crazy, don't expect him to run in at the end because you ain't put nothing in. Okay. That's you, real. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Nothing for nothing leaves nothing. nothing. You're at a place now that you can, you know you have to add to this anointing running around in here. Yes. How do I add, Pastor? By just saying, oh man, every now and then, or, or uh -huh. nod, nod your head, or mm -hmm. holler, or some kind of way to the glory of Yah. Then yes. it comes back around clean. You know how them drug dealers, they wash money? Money Yeah, they uh -huh. wash the money. Yeah. Not real wash. They take the money. Mm -hmm. If you if, if 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 I earn five million dollars illegally, yeah. And I wanna and I wanna get it right in the United States, I give it to some man who say he invested it in this business and it flows all through the system or whatever. And by the time it get back around to me, I may have three million dollars worth of clean money. Uh -huh. So I'm now I'm able to operate and use that money when I get about say, hmm, where you get that money from? Well, see, that's how Yah is. He said the way is a sin to death. And uh -huh. so he died. So when you give him his sin, he can wash it. Yes. He, yes. he can wash that sin and bring back around the vision on how it's supposed to be. All right. So the next time you come along, you say, oh, I know how to handle that situation. Uh -huh. Oh, I know what to do. See, yeah. see, we don't look at it. We say, oh, I do that. I do that. And y'all takes that thing and wash it. He laundries it for us. Yes. But we, we don't never confess our sins. The oh, scripture says confess our sins. Yes. This is true. Yes. Anyway, dealing with the script, scriptures and some things, and, and y'all show us something. Mm -hmm. I, I, I may have said this before, but. You know, we we, we learn and, and, and the enemy has has been stealing the prayers of the righteous. Yes. Has been holding them hostage and we have been holding on and, and we have been learning how not to let that happen. And one of the main things that the father was showing us is that we had to know what season we're in. Yes indeed. What time and what season it is because yes. There are different things require different prayers and different situations you in re requires you to do different things. I mean, when you read the scripture, there are many different types of way they pray. Mm -hmm. You know, prayer we know fundamentally at its root is talking to Yah. Yes. But then sometimes you have to speak to a situation. That's called prayer. Come sometimes on. you have to call those things that be not as though they were. That's called prayer. Yes. And see, if you're supposed to be speaking to a situation, but then you start calling, but you start calling them things that be not as though they were. You in the wrong oh, season. Yeah, and it ain't gonna work. Mm -hmm. It's just like you standing up and you got a screwdriver, but you need a wrench. Yeah, and you say I'm gonna get this out. Okay, how long you stand there and have to hit that thing? Ain't going nowhere. Yes. You have the right tool for the right job. Yes, you have to know what season you're in yes. and what's going on and produce the right return. Yes. Do the right thing. Yes. And to tell us we Woo. got to know the season. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. And in the natural, the father told me, he said, this country, if you didn't know this, is headed towards socialism. Yeah. Yep. A lot of stuff we do now is already socialized, if you will. Are you listening to me? Oh yeah. Socialism, that's what the big thing is about. See, Barack came in undercover as an undercover Democrat, mm -hmm. Democrat, but he he really, I mean, he was a face Democrat, but he really undercover. He was a socialist. Yes. And people who are expert in that matter spotted it right away. Yes. But we as cocoons who we are turned around and say, it's just because he black we don't like him. <laughs> 
I could not understand a man go to the church and his pastor stand up and say, all white people go to hell. Good. And he said, oh, I just go there sometimes. But everybody believe me. What? Well, y'all go somewhere and they said, uh, why your pastor say coon? <laughs> Don't act like you don't say coon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I go to the Adventist Church on the hill. Oh. Praise, the, praise the name of the bush. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this country is, is, is headed towards socialism. Oh, man. Socialist, socialist, socialist. Uh, and yeah, I, mean, I have been reading books on it for a long time, and I thought, that's never going to happen. But lo and behold, it broke up in my spirit today. And I read this di dictionary before. Uh -huh. I mean, this definition before. My wife says she's going to be my spell checker. <laughs> she said, I'll be uh -oh. saying ridiculous stuff. <laughs> yes. She oh. said, I'll be meant to say black and I say blue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she said, I'm trying to say socialism. And I said, Bartholism. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, I just make up a word sometimes. Oh, yeah. So she, she must fail check Yeah. But like I said to him, I said, get on off that reindeer. She said, yeah. We were talking about Rudolph. We talking about Rudolph's time. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> But socialism definition I got here uh, is in Marxist theory, the stage after the pre-Latinarian revolution, when now that's what it says, when a society is changing from capitalism to communism. Well, there you go. Marked by marked by genocide, marked by pay distributed according to work rather than need. Well they distribute them out according to work, not what you what you what you done? What? You understand what I'm saying? Yes. That means they it, 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 when you see people get money mm -hmm. for the job, the total job done, other than the job that you did. In other words, let's say all of us say, okay, we're gonna paint this room, and everybody running here, we paint the room. Should now come in at ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. Nell, Nell was here at 8. Mm -hmm. Jarrell came in at 9. Mm -hmm. And Amira come in at 5.59. And Felina come in at 6 o'clock and locked the door. We said, it's over with. Yes. And then I gave everybody in here $5,000. I was here. That's, that's socialism. Mm -hmm. That's a type of socialism. Everybody gets the same to pay get paid the same according to the job, no matter what work you did, no matter how much work you did. And like in capitalism, and capitalism, like say Red Lobster, the cook gonna get paid more than the dishwasher uh -huh. in most of our stores. Yeah. And that, but that in, in uh, socialism, everybody get paid the same. Mm -hmm. And see, everybody like, oh yeah, that's a good thing. That's not a good thing. No, it's not. That's not a good thing. Yeshua gave an example of sort of like that, and, that, and they tried to use that when he said, come into the vineyard, and he paid everybody the same. Yeah. But he told them what they were getting before they went in there. Hello. He told them what they was getting, and they agreed to it before they went in there. Yes. In socialism, you don't have no say-so. Yes. The, the, the government decides what, 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 mm -hmm. what, you don't have nothing to say, hey, that's what you do. They say you want to pick oranges for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And that's what they do. You know, the orange figure. You want everybody stay in the same little of your house. Mm -hmm. You ain't worried about you ain't worried about that house looking better than yours. Because mm -hmm. everybody only get one bucket of paint. Yes. You have to paint it this color. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and I never really paid no attention to that. But I noticed it, you know, in my Housing thing, you know, they came around and said, You got to take this color up. Man, it's my house. Yes. yes, but you, in this house, you can't put no pool in. You can't 
open the back door. You can't put a screen in. You can't work good gravy. We want all the houses to look alike. I don't want my house to look like that house. Yes. This is you crazy. Yep. If you change the color, you got to maintain. You got nothing better to do than look at my house. Get yes. out of here. Yes, come on now. See, and, and, and this was happening a long time ago, but I never knew it. And then I did a, a reading on it, on socialism. I did some studying, socialism, communism, and uh, 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 not democracy, but called uh, capitalism. capitalism. And I found out we are capitalists, and capitalists have bad things. Mm -hmm. The man at the bottom have a hard time getting up to the top, mm -hmm. but he has a chance. In socialism, everybody stays safe, everybody gets paid the same. Mm -hmm. In communism, is communism is just a group of people. Socialists, the government runs it, and communism is a figurehead that runs it. Mm -hmm. Somebody thought it. He, he ran everything. Socialism will have that. Socialism will be the government running everything. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I looked at that. Here's another definition. A political theory or system in which the means of production or dis distribution are controlled by the people and operated according to equity and fairness rather than market principles. Right. It is very, 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 and, and Elle can tell you, it sounds real good on top, but she, when you get in there and, and look at it, it's, it's not going to work. It is the most unfair thing I have seen in my life. Come on now. I mean, really. Uh, controlled by the people and operated according to the equity? But what if something happened? Yes. You know, equity is what you invest in. If you, if you, if you got a house, let's say you pay $10,000, you pay $10,000 for that house. And, and this is a, a magic miracle hap happening. I'm just making up out of my mind price. Yeah. And you pay five hundred dollars. Well, you got five hundred dollars equity toward that house. Uh -huh. Just a quick definition. Ella, that MRA is that right? She said, I see, I see. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to give a quick mm -hmm. and give all that. But when when you start. Pay it, whatever you pay toward that house, you start knocking it down. Yeah. That's all called, you start gaining equity in that home. Right. And people take loans out on that equity. Yes. In other words, you got $200 and you need $50 loan, you got $200 equity. They said, okay, we'll give you that $200 equity and I'll give you $100 right now. And you got to owe me $100. So the equity is there. Right? Yeah. And I said, okay, let's do this. And if you don't pay him that other hundred dollars, he starts sucking in your equity. Yep. And you become part ownership <laughs> with the bank. You become part ownership with the bank on your house. There you go. And that's how equity and all that stuff works. He said, well, I get paid according to equity. Well, what if he ain't been in? Hello. <laughs> exactly. You know, I got my, my money depending on what he do. Man. That's why everybody get paid the same. And anyway, I said this for a reason, because remember, Marx and Marx just said that everybody eventually end up in communism. Mm -hmm. And he said this is a sign of when a society is going from one state to another. Mm -hmm. Socialism. When they're going from capitalism to communism, mm -hmm. the middle part right there is socialism. There you go. And that's what he said. And he said that's when you see marked by pay according to work rather than need. That's happening all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, but there was a sign. Somebody said a sign. A sign. And so you have to operate according to that sign. It ain't like it was before. Hello. You have to learn how to survive being socialist uh -huh. in a socialist society. Yes. Obamacare. Yes. That is like a socialist thing. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody talks about it like an ape, but it is. Yeah. Everybody got to get insurance even, even, even if you don't pay nothing. Yeah. How that work? Right. So, stuff like that. Well, before they said, well, it's, it's still charity or whatnot. No, that that was different. That's different. They're given to people in need and right. they're supplied by the state and and uh, uh, people what they call nonprofit organizations. That, that that's what they do. They help people out, not the government. Yes. The government wasn't in control of that. Yes. And so the government decides who get help and who don't. 
that's social, uh, socialism. You, you, you don't get it, and people don't understand that. When, when the Democrats are saying, well, we don't want governments, we need more groups to decide it. That's, they're getting into socialism. Yep, amen. Are you hearing? Yes. And you have to learn how to survive during that time. Yes. You see it happening, and if your job is to stay a capitalist, you speak out against it, you know. Mm -hmm. That's your job. Hey, wait a minute. This is a capitalist thing. I mean, this is a socialist thing. Let's not do that. Let's vote. So, see, the socialists are going to get the vote. Yes. <laughs> hey, let, let's vote. Let's vote on someone to run and pick a group, a, 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 a committee, to, 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 to uh, vote on whether we get this thing. And we pick the, the committee. Mm -hmm. We vote for who's on the committee. And then the committee vote if we don't. That's capitalism. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? So the Father left us instructions and signs. Mm -hmm. He said, when you see things begin to happen, you are in the end times. In the end times, you got to operate different from when you did that in normal good. time. Yes. You got to pray different. You got to be prepared. Mm -hmm. You got to do things differently. Yes. You can't do it like so and so did it. You can't do it like they did it in. Uh, Moses' day. Yes. You are in the end times. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes, sir. We learned about this. Y'all y'all remember we talked about this for a long time. Mm -hmm. And he and the father declared to us we're in the end time. Come on, give me other scriptures. Read it. Come on, go with me to the book of Matthew. Book of Matthew. Mr. Born, are you rolling with me? Turn you up. Mr. Warner. He don't mind. Okay. I'm here. Okay, okay. Matthew 24 and. 35. Come on, Mr. Morton. Let's, let's get this party started. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Isn't that amazing? Come on. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So you sure say, don't nobody know that day that heaven and earth is going to pass away. Nobody. Nobody knows that day. Yeah. Now you remember we said before the, the apostle like said we're gonna be the destruction of this temple that you said mm -hmm. and what will be the sign of that coming. And he's also called the uh, Lord. Yeah. And they also want to know a couple of uh, more things. But he started telling them many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Mm -hmm. And so we've been talking about that for the longest of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many come in his their name said they're the anointed mm -hmm. and his anointing. Thank you, Father. We have been talking in that because that's something we have to be able to discern. So our prayers do not be, I said be, be hindered, stolen by the enemy. Yes. And the things, let me pull this out here while we, before we get started today, we talk about we have to have a foundation mm -hmm. for, our, for our prayers and so we can understand what's going on. And one of the things we had to have was patience. We had to write the vision mm -hmm. and make no oaths. That's what we have been learning about these end times. All basically those found in James. James. But we'll get to that later. Okay. I mean, there's a lot. I don't, even, I don't know if I gave this to you, but the, the goal is we have to try to reach these things because we need it in order to be an effective prayer. Remember, we're trying to be an effective, fervent prayer. Yes, yes. That's our goal. We have to be patient, firm, strong in the mind, no complaining, been tried, suffered affliction, blessed after being tried, no oaths and discernment. All of that is what we're learning about and all this stuff. That if we get all that down and learn how to flow in it and learn how to use it correctly, we'll be an effective prayer, prayer a further effective prayer. That's our goal. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So in Matthew 24, uh, uh, he said, heaven and earth going to pass away. Somebody said, that's a time frame. That's a time frame. He said, but that day don't nobody know. 
Well, come on, read 20, 337, Mr. Warren. But as the days of no were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So when I get ready to come back, it's going to be like the days of Noah. Yeah. The days of Noah. The days of Noah. See, they want to know what is the sign of that coming yes. and on the end of the age. Yes. And he said, oh man, he said, they're going to be like the days of Noah. Yeah. Lord, the days of Noah, so shall be like the coming of the son of man. For as in, Mr. Warren, come on. For as in the days that were for the Lord, flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Come on. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So he said that just like it was in the days of Noah, it's going to be like that in the coming of the Son of Man. Yes. And we already know that he said it's going to be the end time. Yes. Right? Right. Uh, I found out something. We really don't know what we be talking about. <laughs> when we talk about the days of Noah. Yes. So shall it be like in the days of Noah. Now I was reading because I wanted to know what it was like if I was in the days of Noah. Because I'm tired of people lying to me. Yes. Really. You know, you, you, you take what people say mm -hmm. and they have no groundwork, they have no foundation. They just make all these assumptions. Yes, for real. And they said things like marrying and giving in marriage, and you don't know what that means. Yes. And you just take some out of work. Well, marrying and giving in marriage means they was giving marriages away. Giving marriages away. And you're like, okay, well, that makes sense. They were giving marriages away. Yeah, let me write that down. But it says drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage. Yes. Oh, well, giving in marriage is a little bit different, huh? Yes. Somebody was doing something like that. So all this stuff we read, and we don't know what's going on. Right. So we said, well, we need to find out what's going on. Yes. It's going to be like in the days of Noah. Because he says something up here. I should have started here, but I did. He said in verse 32, he said, I learned the parable of the fig tree. He told them all this stuff about the end of the age and the end of the world. And then 32, he said, I learned the parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. Mm -hmm. And when you do your study, you find out that fig tree is Israel. And the tender means tender mean is blossoming. And that's when they say Israel became a nation. Are you listening to me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Israel became a nation. Yes. Who's talking about that? Jesse Jackson. Oh. <laughs> and he saw the fig tree and put it forth leaves. He know that summer is nine. Boy. <laughs> so you're saying that <laughs> it was the, uh, Israel blossomed into a nation that when you see Israel becoming a nation, it started yeah. getting better. Do you know it's time? But that also means a lot of other stuff. Yes. So likewise, we should see all these things, all that is near, even at the door. He said, so we see all that stuff he talked about that you know that his coming is at the door. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. I mean, he said, heaven and earth won't pass away. And so one of the main things we have to learn about was the coming of Noah. Yes. Are we in the last day? How many think we're in the last day? Okay. So everybody here think we're in the last days, and I agree. I think we're in the last days. I think we're in the legacy in church age. Mm -hmm. Just explain that to you before. So I know if these are the last days, that that, that means these are the last days before you should come back. That means that it has to be as the days of Noah. Mm -hmm. So we said these are the last days. Let's see, is it qualified? Over, he said they're going to be married and married and marriage, and then the whole world going to be filled with violence. Mm -hmm. Is that the way it is? Yeah. See, let, 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 let me let you see. How many, how many think this is going on today? The world is filled with violence. Mm -hmm. If you turn on the news for five minutes, you know the whole world Hello. is mm -hmm. filled with violence. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, man, news, let me tell you what they do. Uh -oh. and, and that's why you have to be discerned. And you need to know what's going on, especially weather-wise. Mm -hmm. But news, only thing they're going to tell you the majority of the time, 
is fear, doubt, and disbelief. Yes, all they, 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 they preach it. Yep. Now, I'm serious. They, 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 they beat it up. And they set it up so smooth. Yes. They're, they're, they're a short commercial about a man driving in a car with his wife. The son come in and he looking for his mom and dad. And mom and dad stole the man's car. Yeah. But they make it seem so nice. And he driving and they driving away saying, he'll be all right. <laughs> and this new they come on. Uh, so I saw a car jack on OBT today. <laughs> yes. And, and, and two were shot. Or, or so and so uh, uh, went in there and stole from his mama. Yes. Wow. All, all this stuff there, they'll oh put, they put it together. They'll be flooding your brain. Yeah. And then it, it, either you're gonna be like, oh, I want the car, or you're gonna be like, oh, I can't just trust nobody. Uh huh. Fear not, this will be they flood you with it. Yeah. They'll talk about supplies. You, you need to get hurricane supplies. Mm -hmm. And then when the news comes back on, they'll talk about prices going up very high. Yes. It's skyrocketing. By the time something get here, it's going to be, costs going to be out of the roof. But mm -hmm. in a way, and then you run to the store, to get it now. Yes. <laughs> so how is it, or how was it in the days of Noah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. I'm talking about my wife. She, she, well, my wife's on serious with me. Yes, you. I said, look, you know, I see my wife go to the stove with no money. <laughs> Not one penny. Uh -huh. And came back with truckloads of groceries. There you go. And the people owe her money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they said, excuse me, ma'am. Uh -huh. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I know that we have this sign up saying we don't match all the compared to the coupon. Could you please buy something? Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to the store. 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 And the manager came up and said, listen, due to the fact that you wrote a bad check, you can't come in here anymore. So when did I wrote a bad check? He said, no, you didn't write a bad check. You just checked things out too much. <laughs> oh, I like that. You got to go. <laughs> I mean, that is amazing. Yes, it is. You give it all away. <laughs> yes, it does. Give it all away. Well, thank you, Father. I know, I know that's one thing y'all gonna say. Well, you didn't know you was a giver. Yes, for real though. And people don't know my wife, you know how she be looking at me and be like, your wife's so mean. She don't get Man, shut oh, up. All right. My wife's so mean. I'm a drug. Okay. Give her a laugh. Hey. Why are you talking about it? Yeah. She never seen me. And then oh. you got to be married and say something. Y'all, y'all that are uh, uh, Genesis, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, Genesis 5. <laughs> yeah. What in the world all that you did, Pastor, got to do with the last days? See, we were talking about as it was in the days, days of Noah and learning how to live in certain days and certain time periods. Yeah. My wife learned how to survive when we didn't have a lot of overflow of money. Yes. So she learned how to survive. She didn't say, I'm going to sit here and die. She mm -hmm. said, what can I do? And then she started doing something. Yes, and did. through that, we survived. I can remember both of us was out of work, and mm -hmm. I couldn't work ever again. And she had just had surgery, and we didn't have no funds and no money and no food, all this stuff, and what sh or whatsoever shall we do? My yes. wife said, we shall ever go down and knock on these people's door <laughs> until they give us something. We're going to keep going. Yes. We're going to try this one and this one and this one until we run out of gas, and then we're going to ask them for some gas. <laughs> 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 yes. so we keep going. It's somebody, somebody out there got something they want to give away. Yes. That's the truth, man. Amen. <laughs> Genesis 5 and 29. Come on, Ms. Moore. 
And he called his name Noah, saying, This same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands, because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed. Noah was a comforter. Genesis 5, 29 says he called his name Noah, saying, This same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands, because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed. He was a comforter. A lot of people don't know that. Yes. His name means rest. And see, I was reading this book, this book called The Book of, of Jasher. And it says that Methuselah named Noah Noah. And his daddy, Lamech, uh-huh. named him Man. Men are coming. Men are coming. Which means comforted. So Methuselah was the father of the family. Yeah. He was the oldest. Yeah. And uh, even though that was a Lamech son, mm-hmm. Methuselah had to say so. Yeah. And Methuselah said, we're going to call him Noah. And yeah. guess what his name was? No. Oh. Which tripped me out because when you read the book of uh, Jasher, it says that his father, named him, his father, uh, Methuselah, or something like that. I said, you know what? That's amazing to me. <laughs> I went, and, and so anyway, talking about the times of Noah, I want to make sure I did. So I want to make sure you had you had know that. And Lamech, the father of Noah, died. <laughs> this is the book of Jasher. So we're talking about how it was. So we had that going on. And uh, Noah, since we don't have too much written records of, of this, are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Let's go back to Genesis, what, what you got. Let's go back to Genesis. Okay, Genesis 2. Genesis 6. Okay. 1 through 13. Because I can just flow and do it, but I want to read it straight out of the book. Mm-hmm. For a little bit. It said, and it came to pass. Come on, Mr. Warner. And it came to pass when men begat, now, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. Come on that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Mm -hmm. Come on. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. Mm -hmm. Come on. There were giants in the earth in those days, and after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. And, uh, come on. And God saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth, that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Come on. And it repented the Lord that he made man on the earth, and it grieved them at his heart. It grieved them at his heart, and he said, I will, and I will say, what? I will destroy <laughs> And the Lord said, I will destroy a man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Okay, now let me tell you what happened. Y'all know what happened? Yes. Okay, if it's that it's supposed to be like the days of Noah, right? Mm-hmm. So this they're gonna they're gonna be giants in there. Yes. Right? Right, right. And the day it's gonna be like it was in the days of Noah, they gotta be giants in the land. Yes. These giants 
got to be trying to make with the sons of the daughters of Adam. Yes. Let me, let me tell you what was what was going on when it said get married and give it to marriage. What was going on with Noah? Okay, Noah was born and, and Methuselah called him Noah and Dad called him a comforter. Why? Because they want to get from under that curse that uh, uh, was reestablished after Enoch came down. Uh -huh. See, Enoch came and Enoch ruled the world because Enoch was doing right. P the men were, get, were, were, were getting harvest, mm -hmm. tremendous harvest. Yes. So when Enoch left, when Enoch left, they started doing evil stuff against some of them, and Yah made it, the curse reaffected. Mm -hmm. So uh, Enoch left, Methuselah took over. Methuselah was a ruler for a while. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Lamech was Methuselah's boy, and he had a son named Noah. And mm -hmm. Noah took out the Lamech, I mean, took out the Methuselah instead of Lamech. Uh -huh. So Methuselah and, 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 and um, Noah were like this. Mm -hmm. Methuselah taught Noah what Enoch taught him. Yes. He was what we call a disciple. A lot of people don't know that. So Methuselah taught Noah everything, called him the He's gonna give in other words, he's gonna give me rest. That's why he called him Noah. Yeah. He's gonna give me rest. Yeah. So anyway, uh during this time, men decided to do evil <coughs> all over the world. Uh -huh. Now this is the time you have to worry about because this is the time of Noah. Yeah. From Noah's birth until he died. Oh, that's called the time of Noah. But then we probably got the time of Noah uh when the flood time. Mm -hmm. Before I say before the total flood. A lot of people don't know it, but the mini flood and then it was a great flood. Well, there you go. Uh, what happened then that 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 no men started doing evil. They started making wood wood dolls or wood dog gods. They call, call them god wood images. Scripture yeah. said they made wood images and they call these images god. Every man would do that, mm -hmm. and then every man would try to fight this other man to see which god was the best and. They would take their stuff. Yeah. That sound like, uh, hmm. sort of like ultimate fighter. <laughs> <laughs> but in a sense, it would be like nations fighting against nations or yeah. religious wars. Mm. We got all kinds of religious wars going on today. Now, mm. women, yes. yes. Everywhere you look, is going on. We have these statues that they worship and they run around and fight each other over. Yes. Um, now in the book of Enoch, the book of Enoch, I mean the book of uh, Jasher, it talks about um, judges and men of authority will go in and take the girls as a wife. They didn't ask. They went and took them. And, and when in Genesis they say that the the angels were doing the same thing, but watch yeah, going yeah. in and taking these women. Yeah. So it seems to me because they call angels Elohim and they call judges Elohim, that might be the same word. I yeah. have no way of checking it because I have no way of checking it. But Elohim would be a, a judge in the in Hebrew and it also can be an angel. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So anyway. Not only that, are you listening? The men begin to teach each other the evil stuff that the uh, angels had taught them. Yes. So they had, they would start teaching each other all the evilness and, and just doing evil things. And not only that, they started merging the animals together. There you go. They called them. Uh, they were they were uh, make one species uh -huh. and another species and have them reproduce. Mm -hmm. And they did this, according to the book of Jasher, to promote Yah. Mm. Are you with me? Yeah. Yep. So, what is that saying? You know there's cloning. Yeah. You know there's DNA reproduction. Yeah. You know in nature they're taking mm -hmm. this species and combining it with that species. Mm -hmm. I tripped off, I was like, man, I thought that was something new. But this yeah, really, really, really upset y'all. Mm -hmm. okay, everything got to do is out of this own county. Yep. And man, think he's so smart. Where do you think they get the information from? Come on now. Just keep in the Yes. Now, uh, also, uh, Yah made Noah marry. Noah didn't even want 
want to get married. Uh-huh. But he made him marry. Yes. And so when he made Noah marry, Noah's, I think he said it was 400 or something. Something like that. He made him get married. Okay. And so he made Noah get married, married, and he had, that's when he had three kids during this time. And then he told Noah to go make an ark. Because he's sick of men. And it says the same thing. It grieved his heart. He, and he repented. But he wouldn't. Yes. And I think this happened. Uh, him and Enoch, I mean, him and Methuselah, was making the art together. Okay. Because after when Enoch died, Yah told him, to take his, told Noah to take his family in the home. Okay. How the Methuselah died. Did I say Enoch? Yes, sir. Over here at 22, they say, uh, y'all still listen to me? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. And all the sons of men who knew the Lord died in that year before the Lord brought the evil upon them. For the Lord willed them to die, so as not to behold the evil that God would bring upon brothers and relatives, as he has so declared to do. Everybody who was walking right with Yah, he took them home. Yes. Scripture said he died. See, they had in our mind that the only person right was no. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was other people right. They was living right. Mm -hmm. Yah took them all home. Yes. That. That is a form of what we call a rapture. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. He took them, the people died. He, they, they, they died because he didn't want them to be be around and see what he was going to do. Mm -hmm. So these horrific things he was going to do to their relatives. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Now, see, that's how much he loves them. We think it's such a terrible thing. He said, come on home. Yeah. Because I got to, you know, I want you to see this. I want you to be around because I'm going to uh, whoop some tail. Yeah. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. It said, uh, in the time that, in, the time, in that time, the Lord said to Noah and Methuselah, stand forth and proclaim to the sons of men all the words that I spoke to you in, in those days. Prayer mentioned that they may turn from their evil ways and I will then repent for the evil that I will bring that and will not bring it. Now, uh, in scripture, you say evil, but y'all don't do evil. That's just the word and how they translate it. Mm -hmm. It also means bad or something not good for someone else. Yes. Like from your point of view, you say, oh, that was terrible. Yes. But from somebody else's point of view, that was like, okay, judgment. Or that was like, oh, he deserved it. Mm -hmm. So when they say evil from it, that end, boy, that is not what it's saying. And they believed in those days that everything good and bad, y'all was in control of. So he ultimately had a say so. So they said that evil thing that y'all can't. They, we would say y'all allowed it. They would say y'all brought it forth. Uh -huh. Are you with me? Yes, sir. I, I, I'm telling you, listen, but the sons of men would not. Now you got Enoch. What's it, Enoch? Enoch. You got Enoch and you got, not Enoch, you got Methuselah. Uh -huh. Ooh, glad I caught that one. Yes. Yeah. You got Methuselah and Noah, tag team preachers. Yes. They preach to all the people, mm -hmm. telling them to get right. So you have people preaching now, right now, telling them to get right. There you go. Telling people to turn from their evil and wicked ways. Mm. Telling them the stuff that they're doing is wrong. Yes. Anybody hear me? Yes. Right now. I'm not one of them. It, it, what did they say? Um, yep, you mm -hmm. and far between. And it was after that this that the Lord said unto Noah, the end of all flesh is coming before me on account of their evil deeds, and behold, I will destroy the earth. Now he gave them all that chance, and then he said, well, I'm finna destroy it. Gave them all that time to get right. Are you with me? Yes. And then Methuselah died. And he was uh, 900 something, yeah. 960 years old. Yes. Yeah. And it said, 
the, the uh, y'all told Noah to get go get in the ark. Yes. He threw it in. Then tear him up. Yes. So now, now this is what I want to get to. This, this is what's going on in the days of Noah. Now you see all that, right? Uh -huh. They were marrying and giving marriage. What that mean? They were marrying, and people were coming in and taking their daughters and marrying them, whether they like it or not. Uh -huh. They was fighting each other. They was making these wood idols and taking them in and worshiping them. They were doing all this stuff. Noah was telling them that that they that, that they need to stop this. Enoch was telling them that they was they need to stop this, and they was building the ark at the same time. Yes. And 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 they just shook them off and said, "Forget you." Mm. Now this is this was so interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And then the flood came. Check this out. Okay. This this, this is what this is why it's important to read these things. Mm -hmm. Check this out. It said, let's start right here. And Noah went and seated himself by the door of the ark. And all flesh that crouched before him, he brought into the ark. And all that stood up before him, he left upon the earth. Mm -hmm. huh? This is the book of Jasher, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is the book of Jasher, I'm sorry. You got it? You got it? <laughs> Come on, read it, read it for me. Go, go to verse 5 now. And a lioness came with her two whelps, male and female, and the three crouched before Noah. And the two whelps rose up against the lioness and smote her and made her flee from her place. And she went away, and they returned to their places and crouched upon the earth before Noah. Come on. And the lioness ran away and stood in the place of the lion. And Noah saw this and wondered greatly. And he rose and took the two whelps and brought them into the ark. In other words, two of the, two of the lion cubs came and bowed down, but the mama didn't and the daddy didn't. Mm -hmm. And so Noah could only get the animals that came to him and bowed down to him. And they didn't. That, and Noah thought that was strange, you know. Mm -hmm. Two baby cubs, you know, it did the whole family. Yes. And so he was wondering what was going on. Yes. And the mama went back over there with the other animals. See, at this time, all the animals was around the ark. Mm -hmm. And whoever bowed down to Noah, that's what we took in. Yes. And so they were bowing down two and two, two and two, two and two. And then other clean animals, they were doing it in sevens. Ah. And so he took in the seven birds and all this and that. Which is red, red. See, we don't know this. You, yeah. you see all this going on, but you, you still hollering, ain't no God. Man, special. You still hollering, ain't, well, 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 hey, I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> I ain't getting right. My little wood thing where I built, that's who the man. Bump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go over here. What is that? Who is that? Verse 10 said, all the animals and beasts and fowls were still there and they surrounded the ark at every place. And the rain had not descended till seven days afterward. There you go. So Noah went in the ark, brought these things in, and then seven days later it started to rain. Mm -hmm. come, come on, read, read verse 11. And on that day the Lord caused the whole earth to shake. The whole earth to shake. Listen now. And the sun darkened. See, you didn't know about all this. The sun darkened, the whole earth shook. Come on. And the foundations of the world raged. Mm. And the whole earth was moved violently, mm. and the lightning flashed, and the thunder roared, and all the fountains in the earth were broken up, mm. such as was not known to the inhabitants before. Mm. And God did this mighty act in order to terrify the sons of men, that there might be no more evil upon the earth. Should the whole earth, the sun darkened, the water, the foundations of the deep come out. In other words, water shooting up in the air like them geysers. Yeah. A bunch of geysers shooting up all around the world. Now you're looking at me crazy. Man. Lightning flashing. Yeah. Thunder roaring. Woo woo. And you sitting around looking like Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> okay. Man. And, 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 and check this out what happened. And still. Yes. And still the sons of men would not return from their evil ways. 
And they increased the anger of the Lord at that time and did not even direct their hearts to all this. They didn't even think about it. Whatever. In the past. Mm -hmm. See, and, and we looking at it crazy, but y'all be doing all this stuff. And trying to get your attention, to get right. He mm -hmm. gives you warning. He gives you time. And, and you still. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even want you think about it. Money. Yeah. That's the time you're living in. Wow. He said, my, my spirit ain't going to always strive with man. That's the time you're living in. Yeah, right? yeah. When you're sitting around, running around, and, and, and the Father keeps showing you, listen, all these sons are coming back, or something bad happening in your life, and he's showing you, listen, if you don't straighten up, it's going to happen to you too. Yeah. And you run around, I ain't got time to think about that. Oh, man. Man. The only scripture tells you to honor. Somebody say honor. 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 Your leaders, yeah. the ones who are in charge. Over here, we're we going to go back to Hebrews, my sister. Yeah. Uh, over in Hebrews, I think it is. Hebrews, uh, Hebrews 13 and 17. Hebrews 13 and 17. Uh, Mr. Warner. Obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves. For they watch for your souls, as they must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is unprofitable for you. Yep. That is unprofitable for who? You. That's unprofitable for you to be hard here. Yes. Obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your soul. Don't you understand? They ain't worried about you getting the best. Dress at J.C. Penney's. Right. They ain't worried about you getting, you know, first place in the line for a, for a pinwheel. No. Nope. They're watching that for your soul. Yes. How you think? How you how you how you use your mind? How you use what God has told you to do? Well, they got to give account for it. Yes, sir. That they might do it with joy and not with grief, but well, that is unprofitable for you. So I know the more grief you cause me, you think it's funny. But you got to pay for it. Yes, I'll pay for it. That's unprofitable for you to cause me grief. Yes. That's what the scriptures say. The more hard-headed you are, the more unprofitable it is for you. Boy. Look at you, Yeah. And see, it's the only thing you got to do is just listen to what you have to say. It's not hard. Yeah. Right. But some of the things you say are hard, but... Now going back to the book of book of uh, uh, Enoch, it says, Jasher. "Hey, book of Jasher." Now all comes of the deep broke up, and uh, Noah and his household, right there, fifteen. And Noah and his household, and all the living creatures that were with him, came into the ark on account of the waters of the flood, and the Lord shut him in. So they went on in the ark, and the Lord shut him in, cause it started flooding. All this water shooting up from the ground. Yes. And you don't wonder why it's not coming up from the air. Mm. All this water shooting up from the ground. Come on. Wow. And all the sons of the men that were left upon the earth became exhausted through evil on account of the rain. For the waters were coming more violently upon the earth, and the animals and beasts were still surrounding the ark. So the animals the animals and the beasts are playing bodyguards. Yes. So nobody don't run it and, and tear down the ark. Yes. And the men are getting more and more desperate. Yeah. Because the water's getting higher, higher, higher. Water getting higher, higher, higher. Come on. Verse 17. And the sons of men assembled together, about 700,000 men and women. And they came unto Noah to the ark. 700,000 700,000 men and women came to Noah at the ark. That is a whole, whole lot of evilness. <laughs> Can you imagine 700,000 evil people? Yeah, you see them all the time. <laughs> Woo, yes. You just don't consider them evil. Wow. 
what? Go to a rally. Bike, go to bike week. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All that debauchery and, and bacalism going on. And you say, well, they only doing it. And he always making excuses. Anytime, y'all listen to me. Yeah. Anytime you making an excuse or somebody else making an excuse, mm -hmm. you're not sorry for what happened. You just you're trying to justify. It. Yes. You're saying yeah. this is why I did this evil. I, I'm not really an evil person, but this made me be evil. Yes. And, the, and, 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 and you just making things up. Yes. And then when somebody say something and you're trying to justify the person not even there, you're trying to justify their action. Why? Because you know someone, or you know someone do that that you like, yeah. or you doing it. That person you like or you're friends with or, you know, yeah, they ain't evil. Uh, and a lot of times we want to judge what people say, especially leadership, because we think we know more oh, than them. There we go. Yep, that's real. We think we be seeing on a plane that the leader sees on. And because I, I'm speaking what I'm speaking, oh, that's all he know? Man. Damn, man. He, he don't know. You have no idea what. You don't have a clue. I don't even know everything I know. I don't even know. <laughs> but that's what we do. We sit up there. I mean, I used to do it, and I had to catch myself. Listen, I don't know what that man is. Yes. Yeah, because he's preaching that and that right there and there and then I mean, I, I don't know what they know. He knows. That's true, Pastor. I mean, I used to hate to make a, uh, a, 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 a what a thing called, uh, the teacher, you had to you had to write down what you're gonna teach for oh, your lesson plan. Yes, yes. Lesson plan. I hate lesson making a lesson plan. plan. Yes. Cause they ain't gonna be like that. Mm -hmm. You gotta make it for the year, and you gotta make it for the month. <laughs> I said, then you gotta make it for the week. Yes. I said, oh my goodness. I mean, you know, good with this thing. Oh, you gonna be writing down the goal, and how you gonna reach the goal mm -hmm. of teaching the church on how to on hot boil again. Yes. But anyway, come on, let me finish my goal. And they called to Noah, saying, Open for us, that we may come to thee in the ark. And wherefore shall we die? <laughs> and Noah, with a loud voice, answered them from the ark, saying, Have ye not all rebelled against the Lord, and said that he does not exist? And therefore the Lord brought upon you this evil, to destroy and cut you off from the face of the earth. <laughs> Is not this the thing that I spoke to you of an hundred and twenty years back, and you would not hearken to the voice of the Lord, and now do ye desire to live upon the earth? Upon earth? Okay. Now, <laughs> I told you this was going to happen. Yes. And you said, ain't no God. God's not real. Mm -mm. That's what he said. That ain't really what God going to do. Yeah. He gonna, he, he, if he says he's the God of love, he's Lord. not going to kill us all. Somebody got to recreate the earth. I mean, he's not going to do that. Lord. I know he not said that <laughs> he's a fair and just God. Lord. But yesterday you say he don't even admit. He don't even exist. There you go. Now, not because you're scared about scared you're gonna die, you wanna holler he exists. Yeah. But you ain't scared of dying, you just wanna live on the earth. Yes. And you see an ark over here and you'll say anything to get in this ark. Yes, yes, that's real. And that's how we do. In these that's days, we say any trouble come, we say anything to get out of trouble. That's a man. I'm on your team, just get me out of here. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's real. And what he said, come on. And they said to Noah, we are ready to return to the Lord. Only open for us that we may live and not die. You got to open the door first. <laughs> we ready to get saved, but you got to open that door first. <laughs> we can't get saved out here. You got to open that door first. You open the door, we'll get saved now. Come on. All 700,000 of us. All 700,000 of us can fit in that boat. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's real <really> good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And Noah answered them, saying, Behold, now that you see the trouble of your souls, you wish 
to return to the Lord. Why did you not return during these 120 years, which the Lord granted you as a de determined period? 120 years. Wow. 120 years. That's the time you know. Everybody, everybody think they know the days of Noah. Come on, Pastor. And so it was in the days of Noah. Mm. Now, from, from the birth of Noah till he got the ark, he was like 400 or something. Uh -huh. Then he spent 120 years preaching yes. about the ark. Yes. I used to say he's thought, I thought it took him 120 years to make it, but according to this, it didn't take that long. Mm -hmm. They had it built, and but y'all told them to preach for yes. 100 and 20 years. Wow. Man. Preach for people to get caught. He didn't want nobody to perish. Mm. Wow. That's something. Like that. Yes, that, that, it is. My, my father, he just loves it. Yeah. Patient is ridiculous. Mm. Come on. This is, this is something. But now you come and tell me this on account of the trouble of your soul. Now also the Lord will not listen to you. Neither will he give ear to you on this day, so that you will not now succeed in your wishes. It ain't going to happen. You thought y'all were born yesterday? It ain't going to happen. Come on, and the sons of men. And the sons of men approached in order to break into the ark, <laughs> to come in on account of the rain. But they could not bear the rain upon them. They could take never a drop of rain. <laughs> yes. So they've been a great day. Yeah, listen, man. Yes. If I one more that one more one more drop of water touch me. I got a trick for <laughs> Come on. And the Lord sent all the beasts and animals that stood round the ark. And the beasts overpowered them and drove them from that place. And every man went his way, and they again scattered themselves upon the face of the earth. It sounded like Narnia. 700,000 men against a whole bunch of animals. Yeah. You know, it had to be a lot of animals yeah. around that ark. Yeah. And that's why they were yelling from afar. <laughs> yes. And then, then what that drop of rain touched, and that's it. We, we run rushing. I don't know what them animals are going to do. They're going to have to get out of the way. Wow. Say, surprise. I, no, see, Noah had a whole army surrounding him. Yes, he did. And I see that, and I, all I can think wow. about is the angels of the Lord and camp yes. around them who yes. love him. Thank you, Father. He got, he's safe and secure in the middle of doing what he's supposed wow. to do. Wow. Oh, see. See, all that evil going on around him, he ain't worried about it. He, he can't order the animals around him. Yeah. You think we can order our angels around him, but that's, uh, I, don't, I don't think so. We can pray and ask the Father. Yeah. You know, and I always think for his angel of protection, but he said he got angels of protection around him. Yeah. I, I do all the time. But 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 he can't order the animals to yes. protect him. But they did, because the yeah. evil were coming. Yes. They know their job. Mm -hmm. I think about the animals knew what's gonna happen. Yes. It ain't like they didn't know. Yeah. But just think, the, let's think about the two cubs. They get this this word from God. He got to speak it to the mama first. Yeah. And she tells them, listen, bow. When this man comes, y'all two bow down. Mm -hmm. And what the club would have said, for what? <laughs> <laughs> Be like Simba. Oh, I just can't wait to be a king. I ain't bowing down to nobody. I'm not being serious though. Uh huh. Oh, what? Why I got to do that? <laughs> Everybody else ain't doing it again. That's only two. I ain't going down to no man. I'm going to bite his toe if one of them do it. <laughs> Mama just don't know that yet. Oh, man. I mean, really. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. And what, what if y'all only told the mama, listen, I just want you to tell you to join them to bow down. And then you go back and I want you to sit there until, you, until I tell you to do something. Else. Yeah. I was going home today and the door slammed in the room when I got home. And my wife and uh, Elder Flamingo were sitting up in the living room. And they told me, so I thought it was them at first, and then they said, go check it out. Mm -hmm. I said, well, if it ain't nothing, y'all probably shot them. Mm -hmm. 
So I went back there and they ain't seen nothing in the open door and shadow gonna try to force her way out the room. <laughs> and I said, What are you doing? No. And I said, No, she looked at me with a white white tail, looked at me all pitiful. Please. <laughs> I said, get back in that room. So she went back in there and got in the cage and sat down. Yeah. And I had I had closed the door and then I opened the door. And she come out and ran out. Like he said, I broke my heart by then. But she, I was seeing what she gonna do, what I say. Yeah. And so uh, Rail got her trained real good. Now she didn't run through the house. Uh -huh. She ran a little bit and stopped and came yeah. right behind me and was walking behind me. And every now and then she'll bump my leg, uh, lick me on the leg, and look at it. <laughs> Come on, man, hurry up. I got nothing to do. <laughs> and so then she, I get to the door, she's gonna run around me. <laughs> <laughs> I opened the door, she ran out there and did a bit, and she, but she, couldn't wait for you. Oh! <laughs> I heard Carol say, Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's going to run back to me. I said, No, I'm going to run the plane. I'm going to do what you got to do because you know number two coming. You know, oh. <laughs> and she went to run around. They come back and look at me. I said, We can go back in until you get the job done. I'm going to do that. And then she disappeared for a while. Say so. Yeah. I can imagine the angels just saying, sick them. Yeah. You know, sick them, get them. You know, <laughs> as the people started coming. And then, you know, today I was just so, so messed up dealing with stuff in my mind, you know, with that breathing. I had to make sure my oxygen level yeah. was up right. And I was like, man, you know, because, you know, the, uh, what the thing called the uh, allergies, you know, the allergies that I cut off. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, maybe the sign is small. Because mm -hmm. long as I got the oxygen in, I was fine. Yeah. And I was sitting up there, and I was thinking today, how many times did the Father tell me to do something simple, like stay, or duck, or sit, and because I was hard here, Come on now. I didn't do it. See, your father told me to tell you guys, and I want you to hear what I'm saying, that he's been talking to us and been giving us simple, one-word things to do. And he wants us to operate on that so we can learn to hear you more clearly. And I know somebody's saying, well, I can hear you. I hear you. But I'm telling you, there's a deeper level, more level you can get. And he speaks these things to you. And he wants you to do it. And one thing you have to do, you have to do it immediately. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You have to do it immediately. Because if you delay, you're down. Yes, oh my goodness. If you know y'all spoke to you, and you sit back in and, 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 and doubt it, that is called doubt. Yeah. <laughs> And so we do fear, doubt, and disbelief. So you're saying, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Am I going to have faith and believe and believe y'all has the ability to say, get out. 
Can you imagine y'all speaking to a disease leave. and telling it to leave? Yes. Can, can you see that happen? See, he said, I give you power over all the works of the enemy. Are you with me? Oh, yeah. All the works of the enemy. So first of all, we must know that this disease, this inf affliction on my body is not my friend. Yes. Yes. Yeshua paid the price that I might be free yes. of whatever affliction my body is going through. I had this serious thing happening to me. I want you to hear me. I had this serious thing happening to me. And I almost gave up. I, I, I told the father, I said, I said, you know, why I can't give up? Yep. I mean, why I just can't give up? And then he said, you can if you want to. There you go. And I said, I can. Mm -hmm. I really can. I have something in me that makes me keep going. Yeah. And, and you know why I keep going? Why? Because I believe. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. I believe. I believe. I just refuse to not believe. I, I pray for you. And I believe. I pray for myself. And I believe. The uh, fourth night, I felt the anointing on my hand so powerful. And I heard the Spirit say, anything they want, they can have. Just come touch your hand. And I was like, should I tell them to come touch me? And I'm just, I, I stood up and then I heard what the Spirit tell me to do. And I called Elder Flynn over. I called Elder Flynn over and I touched her. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what she was dealing with. Mm -hmm. But she told me later that she was dealing with some stuff. And it left immediately. Yes. And it said my hand was so hot. Yes. And I knew because after I prayed for her, guess who I prayed for? Me. Yes. <laughs> Why? Because I believe. Yes. See, I'm not getting no feedback. Man. It's your faith. Your faith gonna make you whole. That's what restoration is all about. Your faith making you whole. It's not me. Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Somebody said it's my faith. It's my, my faith. faith. Your faith is gonna make you whole. Do you believe? Matthew 6, 36, I think it is. I'm going to read this. Matthew 6. You know, I used to be uh, kind of ashamed of how shame is the word, but I used to be hesitant on how much I talk about God with people around or all this and that. Yeah. And I'm not anymore. Mm -hmm. I've never been ashamed of the gospel. Yeah. But I used to say, well, people get tired of me talking. And then someone will move a certain way or do something. I'd be like, man, I must be just mm -hmm. way too long. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and y'all told me let them wait. Yes. <laughs> and that's how I heard it. My, my, my father Woo! said, let them wait. Yes. I'm talking to my son. Yes. And that's why I felt, you know, they don't have to be here. Yeah. I'm not throwing my pearls before swine. Yes. I love to talk about it. My son said, I love to pray. Yes. I, 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 I love that song so much, though. That's me. Oh, yeah. I, I love him. If they, anybody know five minutes about me, <laughs> you know I love my father. Yes, I really sir. Do. Mm -hmm. And I want to read this. He said, Therefore, take no thought. Mm -hmm. I said, no thought. No thought. No thought. Mm -hmm. That word, no thought, there is talks about don't be anxious. Saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or whither shall we be clothed? Oh, Father. 
I was, I was like that. What I'm going to eat? My mom hurting so bad. Am I going to be able to eat? I don't know. I don't care. I'm just going to take it a second at a time. Yes. I'm going to give you praise even in the midst of all yes. this, Father. Yes. What shall I eat? What shall I drink? Mm. Oh, Lord. I give him all the praise. Thank you, Father. Somebody said, how you, how you walking? I mean, how you eating? And how, how, you, how you doing this? And I went talking a little bit. Mm. And then I said, oh, let me stop talking about the bad stuff uh -huh. of it. I just want to give y'all praise. Yes. Because I ain't going to glorify the negative. Yes. Give, give that power. Uh -huh. No, so my TV star, hey, no, no, yes. I'm going to give him the glory. Oh, yeah. Oh, you should be down. You should be hearing so bad. Whatever, I give y'all the glory. Yes. What shall we eat? What shall we eat? What shall we drink? What shall we put on? He said, well, after all these things do the Gentiles see. What that mean, Gentile, you know, that's talking about other believers, those who don't believe like I do. Yes. You know, that's what it's talking about, the yes. word itself. I can go into the word itself. The word itself means not of this, not of the nation of the Jews. Yes. All this and that. But what it's saying, those who are not under this anointing, those who are not saved, those who are not the sons and daughters of the Most High. Right. Those who don't believe like this, that's what they're seeking out. Yes. That's what they're seeking out. So he said, for you, for your heavenly father knoweth, you have need of these things. And I want you to hear this. Stop talking to y'all about stuff he already knows. See? Asking them for stuff he already knows yeah. you need. That's, that, that don't make a lick of sense to me. No. If you're going to do anything, thank him for it. Thank you, Father. I, see, I, I be serious about this thing. We read the other day on, on, on the scripture that said, we thank Yah for, we don't, we don't thank Yah for our food after we eat. Yeah. And so I be serious about the thing. So you know what I did? I put a long clock on my, on my on Optimus Prime. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I eat lunch just about the same time every day. So I put down 30 minutes later after that, I alarm so I know to give my father some praise. Yeah. I'm serious about that I thing. That. When, when something hit me and I don't be doing it consistently, yeah. I do something to get it in me so I can do it consistently. So when I say I believe, I really believe. Somebody asked me, how do you know so many scriptures? I just memorize this, memorize the scriptures. Right. It became part of me because I read scriptures so much. Yes. I mean, I must have read the New Testament. I don't even know so many times. It's ridiculous. Uh -huh. I ain't read the Old Testament that many times because I can't stand that. Thou should not take a billy goat. Yeah. Cut off his beard. <laughs> I would. Yeah. Drop these things through the Gentiles. See. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Keep seeking for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Anybody know what that means? I open the floor right now. Somebody tell me what that means. Well, I believe it means to um, put y'all first in everything and just seek him um, like for a vision for the day. And he'll, he's going to take care of everything that you need. Seek him for a vision of the day. He's going to take care of everything he needs. I'm going to give him here for sure. I'm going to tell you what that means. I'm going to tell you what that means. When I say it from here, get to me, my dear father. Just live by faith 
and builds you with seek God in everything you do. Constantly seeking Him with everything, and everything will be added because it's just look by faith, and that's how we're supposed to live by faith. So by seeking the kingdom and His righteousness, to me that's that's knowing that Yah is, and He's a rewarder of those that build you with seek Him. That's like a different way of saying that to me. Come on, give me a hand, y'all, today. take this scripture, one of the most powerful scriptures in that program. Seek ye first the kingdom of Yah. We know that's diligently seeking after Yah. We know what that is. We live by faith. But see, if we leave out in his righteousness, his righteousness, yes. not yours, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. How he act. His integrity. How he do things. That's the part we're missing out on. Oh, y'all, we know you're able, but we'll act like a fool until we get it. Oh, man. That ain't how he do things. Right. Seek ye first the kingdom of God in his righteousness. How he gonna act. How he conduct himself. We don't do that. And then we wonder why he don't supply all our needs. Man, there you go right there. Because we don't seek after his righteousness. Yes. We don't see how he do it by faith and strive after that. Listen, he showed me this about himself. He showed me this about to saying grace after I eat. He showed me to give him credit, and, and, and I'm not going to strive to do it. Okay, that's just a good thing to try. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all and, and his righteousness. Oh, I'm just going to seek the kingdom. Oh, you know, what, what does that mean, seek the kingdom? Oh, I don't know. We, we only talk about it forever, how the kingdom is that he must enter in as a child. Yes. So that means I got to humble myself. I got to first humble myself and know that I'm coming to him, man. And, 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 and then I know that this thing is beyond and bigger than myself, that it is the kingdom of Yah, everything that encompasses him. So that's everything. Yeah. So how he acts and everything. I got to speak a word. That's one thing Yah did. Yes. He didn't like something, so he changed it. That's how he conducted himself. Yes. I don't even know how y'all act. I just look at what Yeshua did. Yes. How did Yeshua act? What did he say? What did he do? How did he conduct himself? Did he have integrity? Did he lie? Did he sin? What did he do? Did he worry about it? No. He had no food. <laughs> he had two coupons. Yes. <laughs> and end up with the storm. Yes. I thank y'all for my wife all the time. Because people always say, well, plenty of, plenty of, plenty of, plenty of. Uh, plenty of wouldn't be half this without plenty of. I know this. I know y'all put in my life for a reason. You know, I, I, I ain't need that everyday stuff that everybody else think I need. And he, and he already had somebody in my life that helped me. When I need a doctor, mm -hmm. yeah, they've been in my life all the time. Wow. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of y'all just seeking to be seeking. Wow. Don't know what you're looking for. Have no idea what you're looking for. You're seeking to feed the flesh, yeah. and you're saying, "God, help me feed this flesh." Fall in love with Yah. My goodness. He 
done so much for you. Call and love with you. Come on up. Everybody want to be healed and made whole. Right now, in the name of Yeshua. something that you imagine that will never be. And that is a darkness that you don't even know how to deal with.
covenant he made with us, the Father did, healing takes place. Just let it go. so easy to give in to that world of carnage. But you have the ability also to stand against the rage of the night. To look dead in the eye of that devil. And stand up and say no to the child of the most high. You have that ability in the name of Yeshua. You have that authority in the name of Yeshua. Real love has no man in this. The one who lay down on his life will sin. Love. Be strong in the Lord, in Yahweh, and in the power of His might. Stand against the rage. Stand against all the temptation. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. He didn't bring me this far just to leave me. Glory, be strong. You have it in you. You have the anointing. Speak against the night. Speak against the rain. And stay in peace in the shoes of Jesus. 
be made home. Glory, yes. glory. Yes. We have too much strength, too much ability to run from this power that we are here with to live to you. you thought you were searching for, you will see that it was there all along. There's a deeper level, there's a deeper learning, there's a, a deeper walk with the Father that, 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 that you're going to get there. And your body is fighting 
the very words that you speak. Because there's sometimes you try to drift away and feel bad and to, 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 to go into that place that the body needs to rule and to reign in. That, that darkness place, that, that, that place that, 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 that you know it has no light. That, that the Father right now is anchoring you into the discernment of light. That even as you, he tried to pull you over the enemy and the, and the flesh try to pull you into that place, that you'll be able to see it and be able to declare light. And they know like there is life, and you'll be able to stand in the midst of the rain. In the midst of the storm, you'll be able to stand and be made. Oh, there is an everlasting healing hurricane like inside of your inner man. And whatever attacks your body, you have resistance. You have the shot. You have the cure on the inside of you. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So any kind of disease and ailment that come against you, you have already receive the healing. Lord, you have already yes, received the anointing. Lord, you have already received the therapy. Yes, you have already received the medicine. Hallelujah. You are immune. Oh, you have received that shot. Yes. In the name of the oh, yes. No weapon form against you shall be able to prosper. And every time they rise up against you, yes. and the day of judgment, you shall condemn. Be made whole. There's a shrinkage, even in the water spot in your brain. It was propped up and pushed over, and there is a shrinkage, and that's a good thing, in the name of Yeshua. And that double vision and, 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 and that weakness that you feel when you try to lift and that shrivel come over your body, it has now been dissolved oh, in the name you, of Yeshua. You, no more stroke like symptoms Thank you, Father. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Somebody give them praise. Lord. Hallelujah.
they did come in and try to hold on and get a place to live in their life. Dust and ash and the commandments leave and be dissolved in the name of Yeshua. Through a simple conversation of love, the enemy has came and tried to destroy your very body. It seems like everyone you talk to, you begin to pick up those symptoms. Everybody ain't qualified to talk to you. Oh, my, my, my. And you're, there, is, there is a jet shootage going to come, and you want to shoot to the very top without even realizing that it Right now in the name of Yeshua. In your body, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, there is a total healing that's taking place. We rebuke the headaches. We rebuke the fatigue. Even in the weakness of the hips and the pain, we declare it to be dissolved. Yeah. In Yeshua's name, oh Lord, heal it. Heal it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I hear water in the ear. Oh. Don't know why, but thank you for healing that. There are some people, three of them, they're talking too much about things they don't understand. And they're trying, and they're making it through a lot of stuff by you, by your words. And they're talking about things. Right now, we rebuke that spirit. But right now, only if there's some things that I call off. That whenever these little imps and devils come around, they're not going to be able to hang around long because of your off. Right. They got to keep hands off. Yes. They got to keep words off. They got to keep ideas off. Let me bounce this off of you. Now let me bounce. You bounce off of me. Yes. In the name of Yeshua. You. They're stealing from you. They're trying to take what's rightfully yours in the name of your shoe. Hallelujah. Even this professor, they're going to push you up to another position. And it's going to be an answer to your prayer. Hallelujah. Be made holy. Each and every time, it seems that there is no answer. The Father comes through. And he gave you five tests, and he said you pass. There's five areas that you have to prove to yourself. And the Father wants to show you what kind of person you truly are because you was looking at yourself wrong. And you went through five. I want to say three, but I hear five. And you pass. And I want to say five Fs. But you pass. I want to say you pass. And you're not. And you're free. You are free. You're not going to end up like this and like that. You're free. And that spirit is off of you. Yeah. Say that spirit is off of me. That spirit, there are several of them. Say that one too. And that one too. In the name of Yeshua. You. And you're going to see the difference. You're going to see the difference. You're going to come in a place and you're going to say, wait a minute. And you're going to do this and you're going to say, wow. And you're going to know what I'm talking about. The only reason I'm not mentioning it because the spirit told me don't say it. But I know what it is in the name of Yeshua. Be free and made whole. Lord. 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 
You're going to have an assistant. Trip. You're going to have an assistant to help you because things that you like walking and other stuff of that nature, that's what a young buck and what you're going to be doing. And he said, don't fear. He got you in every situation. I know you know that, but still, that's what I hear him say. Man, I can feel happy for you because in the midst of the darkness and the blindness that you was trusting in God, and he, he said he, he passed, he led you to these places. And all the while, you was dealing with stuff no one knew. And you were dealing with this and dealing with that, but you went through. You walked through the other side in the name of Yeshua. Now, be, may hold you ought to be happy because reward is here in the name of Yeshua. Reward is here. Come on, somebody give them praise. Come get Father hand clap and pray. needs 
to know that we are still connected. There have been some earth-changing quakes happening in our lives and in things that are going on, but you got to understand how Corona works, and you don't really get it yet, but we're going to get it. But we are still connected. We feel each other in the spirit, and most still come and hook in. But when you don't feel someone, that's called a weak link. And they don't have to be doing nothing wrong. They might just be under attack. Yeah. And that's your clue to pray for. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's called the weak link because it's getting hit. Yeah. So we have to do something about it. Thank you. As a group, as a ministry, we love one another. We really, I have, I've given my life for him. And I think anybody who knows me knows that. Don't look on outward appearance and try to judge things. You got to look at the inward man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It is so important that you understand that we are connected. You hear know what I'm saying? Yes. That what happens to you affects me in a big way. Yes. And what happened to me affects you yes. in a big way. Amen. You got to understand that. You got to know that. This is a life thing. Yes. This ain't a five minutes just passing through thing. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's why I teach in, in, in what they call uh, successions. That's teach in layers and layers and layers. Mm -hmm. and People say that's exhausting because mm -hmm. every class I teach is like, I got this going on, this going on. Hey, it's not exhausting because y'all doing it. I'm just allowing him to do it. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. We got all these things, layers on layers on layers, but it's deep so you get that root teaching. Yes. And you ought to be excelling. If you take one, are you listening to it? Oh, yeah. If you take one of the classes and yeah. just truly study everything that's preached, Man, you'll blow some people's mind yes, with the things that happen in your life yes. and with the peace you have yes. in your life. Do y'all hear me? Yes, I want you to leave here with the spirit of peace because it's over. It's, it's, it's just raining in this place. Yes, and I want you to understand what it is. Yes. It's, it's the presence of Yah, also, yes, but it's also the presence of your brothers and sisters. Thank you, it is also that oneness. Thank you, See, the world has what? Socialism? Yes. We got Kwanon. Thank you, Father. We live in Kwanon. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Right? Right. That's how we live. Oh, that yeah. means we swim, we die together. Yeah. <laughs> So we're, we're, we're getting ready to go. Um, huh? I didn't know. <laughs> what happened? Turn it back up to me.
Even as you constantly think of what he's going to do with your life and what he's going to do, why he's doing it. I can only do this, and I can only do that, and I can, like a truck. And that's how you've been feeling in life, and that's not the way it should be. You are free in the anointing, and you're not limited to anything. But you have to stay in his will. How do I stay in his will, Pastor? By doing what you know is right. There are right things that you don't do that you need to do. And it's not always a big thing. It's the little things. You ever had a little fright? And then you say you thought it was okay, then it just fell apart all of a sudden. Well, that's what happened in your relationship with Yah when you don't do the little things right. You don't feel worthy because you're not in by his glory. But you know you're not doing everything you're supposed to do. And pretty soon you start trying. So what's going on in your life? That's bigger than healing. Because you, you already healed. What's going on in your life is you need to do the little things correctly. The big things too. But you need to do what you want to write. In the name of Yeshua. I thank you for the discernment, Father. I thank you for the ability to do it. Right now, I lift him up before you. That every contrary spirit, every contrary spirit, every spirit that's not from God, every spirit that's not moving according to the will of the Most High, that's on your back and on your life, I command it in the authority of Yeshua yes. to loose you and let you go. Yes. Can you see that come out? In the name of Yeshua, yes. loose him and let him go. Yes, yes, yes. Even the little snakes on the back of your jacket, I command you to be free. Loose him and let him go. In the name of Yeshua. Loose. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, that's your loose saying. Every time your mind get tight, because it's like a tightness come over your brain when, when, when you're about to do something you know that's not so right. There's a tightness come over your brain. You, you ought to loose me in the name of Yeshua. Every single time, I don't care if somebody look at you like you're crazy, bump them. Come on, say it one time for me. Loose me. Uh, you, you got a much louder mouth than that right there. Loose me in the name of Yeshua. Come on, somebody got God. you. Come on. Loose me in the name of Yeshua. Come on, he's trying to take it from you. Come Loose on. Loose me in the name of Yeshua. Come on, speak it out of your spirit. Loose me right now in the name of Yeshua. Come on, man. Right. Ain't nobody going to let you go like that. Come on. Loose me in the name of Yeshua. Come on, Loose man. me right come on, now come on, come in the name on. of Yeshua. Fight spirit with spirit. Come Loose on. Loose me in the name of Yeshua. Loose me. In the name of Yeshua. Loose me. Loose me in the name of Yeshua. Yes. Come on. Loose me right now in the name of Yeshua. In the Loose name. me in the name of Yeshua. In the authority. Come on. Loose me in the name of Yeshua. Yes. Come Loose on. me right now in the name of Yeshua. Be in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, Yeah. 
according to the scripture, we got to let you go. And you know what to do. Now be free. Come on, get a father hand clap. Woo! Woo! Tell the Father, thank you for freeing me. Thank you for freeing me. Come on, give him some praise. Woo, thank you. receive that change. You have to be open and willing to be changed. And the people in this ministry tonight, I felt change right in my hand. need to be made, the floor is open, we can make it. Have no announcement. I was told to shut up. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, come, come on, let's dismiss. Come on, stand to your feet. say I'm free. I'm free. Father, thank you right now for your guardian angels that are around your people. Thank you for your spirit, Father, that abides with you and that you allow to live in us. Thank you, Father, for keeping us connected in the name of Yeshua. Father, give us that discernment to pray for one another, to lift up others with need and to lift up others that need help and to lift up ourselves in a time of trouble. Father, most of all, we thank you for giving us discernment just to lift them up because we love you. That love we have for each other that everyone abide on us, Father. Thank you for connecting us in an inseparable way. In the name of Yeshua, be blessed in the Lord. 
be blessed in Yahweh and through his son Yeshua. And look at somebody and say, ye shall know the truth. Ye shall know the truth. And the truth. And the truth. Gonna make you free. Gonna make you free. And you know what? And you know what? The truth. The truth. It is. It is. What it is. What it is. Oh man, you're free. Woo!